ATV accident in rural Campbell County leaves a standout Northern Kentucky athlete dead. Nine on your side's Evan Millward is live on the campus of Thomas Moore, where Mitch Kramer's friends and teammates are gathering tonight. And Mitch Kramer would likely have started with those football saints on this field this season. He just turned 21, just had his first practice with the starter squad. This academic year was shaping up to be his year. What should be a very joyous day, the first day of the fall semester, with our students returning and our new students starting uh, at Thomas Moore, uh, it has obviously turned into a very somber and solemn day. An early morning football team meeting. And we talk about that we're a family. Well, now we need to be a family, and we got to be there for each other and for Mitch's family and for Mitch. One face missing from that huddle. No matter what we were doing, we can be running gashers and sprints in the hundred degree weather, and there's Kramer for smiling. He walking through the halls. And he's smiling. You know, he had a contagious positive attitude. It's clear Mitch Kramer's teammates admired him, even the senior who years ago had been paired up as his freshman mentor. You literally cannot find a person on this campus or especially on the team that did not like Mitch Kramer. He was, you know, he was a, really was a stand up guy. Kramer was found dead next to an ATV and this tree early Monday morning. Two of his teammates were there and had to make the call for help. Sports teaches lessons of all sorts. Very few times, though, are coaches in this position. These guys are 21 years old, and they're not used to dealing with death, obviously, and it's just tough. Kramer was also well-liked at Campbell County High School, where he had graduated from. Now, tonight at 8 o'clock here on this campus, there is a candlelight vigil for Kramer. Everyone is invited to attend. We're live on the campus of Thomas Moore College in Crestview Hills. Evan Millward, 9 on your side.